Hello everyone, Jekyll here and I welcome you to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Engineering, a series in which I look at various engines and introduce them to the populace, or at least explain what they do and what they can be used. In today's episode we're going to look at an engine that will take your deck into overdrive and magically enhance your souls. It's time to look at the Magician's Souls engine. But before we dive head first into that, remember to like, comment and subscribe if you like this content. So without further ado... Let's get started. Magician Souls is a level 1 spellcaster type monster, first released in Legendary Duelist Magical Hero all the way back in January 2020. The card almost instantly saw competitive play due to its effect and splash ability. Having a pot of greed that can special summon itself is actually kind of good. I was unable to find any data regarding the card being used in topping decks after August 2020 when Ryan Levine used it in his Synchron Dogmatica Eldritch in order to get to top 8 of the remote dual YCS Invitational. However, I predict that the card will see a spike in play in the following months, a combination of the card's reprint in Brothers of Legend and the introduction of the key parts of the Magician Souls engine in the upcoming main set, Battle of Chaos. When it comes to the Magician Souls engine, just like I mentioned, it will be available in the TCG with the release of Battle of Chaos in February 2022, since its key piece is going to be released in that set. On the OCG side of things, the set was released in October 2021, and I wasn't able to pinpoint a single Deckless that used that engine, which was quite unexpected, to say the least. Anyway, I've been talking about this engine a lot, but what it is actually, and what does it do? Well, in its core, it's a result of an interaction between Magician's Souls and a new card introduced in Battle of Chaos. That introduction gives the user easy access to Magician's Souls, which in terms provides draw power and an extender. So without further ado, Let's look at all parts of the engine, starting with the one it takes its name from. This is the payout for using this engine, a level 1 spellcaster monster that can special summon itself and allows the user to cycle through cards. Illusion of Chaos is the part of the engine introduced in Battle of Chaos. This card has two effects, and the engine only uses one of them. At its core, Illusion of Chaos is a monster that can search Magician's Souls and place itself at the top of the deck, allowing its soul's summoning condition to be fulfilled. Additionally, it being a level 7 ritual monster makes it searchable via preparation of rites, making the engine highly consistent. Since there's no concrete data we're gonna build, I have to go and use the worst possible building strategy. My opinion. Therefore, you can use both Magician Souls and Illusion of Chaos in three copies each. Additionally, preparation of rights can boost the consistency of the engine to greater heights. The biggest upside of the engine is rather obvious access to an extender and dropper in the form of Magician Souls. This engine is also highly consistent, which is another good thing about it. When it comes to the downside of the engine, I think its size is one of the biggest. It's a six card engine at the smallest and 9 card at the largest, dedicating 20% of the deck to an engine that can trade up to 2 spells or traps for the same amount of cards from the top of your deck might be a bit too much and not leave enough space for any other engines, decks or outs. Since the engine is self-contained, it can be used in anything. Personally, I suggest decks that have access to floating spells and traps like Eldritch, Witch, Crafter or Metal Foes, since that will provide actual card advantage. Due to Illusion of Chaos not being released in the TCG yet, it's hard for me to determine the cost of the card. However, when it comes to Magician Souls, the cost of this card is about $49 at average for the cheaper Secret Rare reprint from the Brothers of Legend booster set. As for the original print as an Ultra Rare from Legendary Duelist Magical Hero, you'd have to dish out about $77 a copy. When it comes to preparation of rights, the card had multiple printings at this point, with the cheapest being from Maximum Gold booster set for $174 a piece. And with that, we're wrapping today episode. I hope you enjoyed this one and I bid you all adieu and I'll see you in the next one. Check out this out. Peace!